My name is Zenaida Janowski, and I'm a former principal dancer with the Royal Ballet. Choosing to have a favorite role is a bit like choosing your favorite color, and it's ever so hard because sometimes you just don't feel in the mood to wear a certain color. And uh, for me, I think the role that resonated the most was Manon Lesko because he has a lovely journey um, from a young uh, child to uh, a pretty um, sort of middle-aged wreck of a woman um, who has given up anything, everything she had, money and, and success and whatever for a true love, ah, don't we all? So that, that's the one that was more, most challenging. Uh, but of course, there is so many others that I, I close close to my heart. Uh, it, one of them being the right of spring, for example. I think something like that will um, change you forever. That just that music and that choreography, it's just fascinating. The way I prepare for a role, any role, it's very different, I feel. I never prepare the same way. I, I, I hate monotony, <laughs> can't bear it. And so I try to be a blank piece of paper. And uh, if it's a role that has been done uh, on someone, someone else, and I'm taking it on board, um, it's a little bit harder because you have to sort of adapt somebody else's coat into your shape and your, you know, your figure and your way of moving and your, so um, it feels a little bit, you have to kind of, you know, again, like a coat, you have to kind of reverse it and look at the seams and see if you can sew it or nip it. And, and, and so that's basically what I do with a roll. I, I, I'll really turn it inside out and, and try to look ways round so I can then figure out how that coat is going to sit on me and how I'm going to make the audience believe that that coat was made for me and not for somebody else. And that research of, of the truth, you know, in any performance is a little bit like a painter. So, you know, when we are talking about, you know, again, um, the, the portrait gallery is again, your portrait, what is the representation of that portrait and, and what, you know, what do you want to give the viewer, uh, what images do you want to give the viewer vis-a-vis -vis the, the feeling? And, and is that research, and it's equally the light, the feeling, the, you know, the timing, the, the wrinkles, the, the, the sensations, and, and, and it's absolutely the same, like any painter would do. Just research, research, till suddenly, you know, the penny drops and, and, and you, you get the, the perfect performance. But in the end, it's all movement. So, you know, and that's something that I keep telling uh, the students when I see them, just don't get, don't get mentally boxed into, oh, this is classical, I'm very good at classical and I'm not very good at contemporary or vice versa. You know, in the end, uh, it's all about how you're going to move to tell the story. <laughs> the only thing I would say is that there is a fine line between recognition, which you have to accept, you know, that you've made it to a certain point, absolutely. I think I always felt that I recognized my level, uh, but I wanted to get better. So that's, you know, that that's the two, the difference that you don't damage yourself with self-doubt so much that you can't recognize your achievements. Um, so I think that's, that's always such a fine line, I think. Uh, and women are wonderful at uh, putting ourselves down. <laughs> Working with Rick is always so lovely because he's such a, gentle person and immediately makes you feel like um you know so relaxed and uh, loved and valued and and those three things are so important i think when you're working with someone just to feel valued you know with photo shoots i always like to just do something different because i get really bored of the ballet pose and also you know i don't feel myself i am the um uh, uh, beautiful ballerina. I'm not, uh, I've never been. Uh, I've always danced outside the box. I've always uh, uh, broken rules. Also, we all have this idea that, you know, because you are being shot, you know, you've had your makeup done and your hair or whatever, um, that, uh, that uh, you are suddenly a model. And so you end up just going and just being really self-conscious, thinking, okay, I've seen enough magazines to know what models do. And, <laughs> and you have to sort of, come down, you know, 
put that aside and, and listen to the photographer and he's just going, okay, Zen, well, just, you know, be yourself. How will you be in a studio? And just, so, if, yeah, Im immediately, oh, you, you know, you, you are not a model. You are Zen, the dancer that's in the studio who's working and, and he's just taking a few pictures. <laughs>